ain't got no real What's gamers. What's Spy Fox and Dry Cereal? We ain't got no real gamers in this room if y'all know Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. Sandra, you played video games when you were younger, right? I played like Tony Hawk. That's it. Tony Hawk? That that's so And Donkey Kong. That's like Donkey the Kong. 99 GTA. On my Game Boy Color. Not Nintendo 64? I had one of those, yeah, but like, not enough, like, you know, a storage of games. Double like, game games, games shit. I really played. Double seven I feel classic. like you was a way bigger gamer than me if you ever had a handheld video game. I don't think I ever had my, a Game mine Boy. Mine was hot pink. I loved it, playing Donkey Wait, Kong going I crazy. I had a Game Boy Advance. I had the regular Game Boy. I think I got the first, like, <laughs> and then I was out. Like, I'm not getting the had. new shit. I didn't want the first Game Boy because I had no color and shit. And the screen That's was all right. green and black and, like, I was like... It was boring. I was always late but, on technology. My shit was dope. I miss it. I wish when I the PSP came it. out, that shit was fire. I stopped at Game Boy Advance, which is early. How you feel about video games using? I want the DS fucking, though. Fucking uh, video games to uh, send a message, like video games with a message. It's good if you ever played uh, Mafia Three. That game, that game is real good. I sure think I played it. a couple. What's the message? You played it? Yeah. That's the main the character, he's like he's in the mafioso like world, but he's black. He's mixed. Oh yeah. He so he has to go through racism and shit throughout the seventies and shit. He be checking white people and shit. Like yo, fuck you, I'll fuck you up. For shit. real? Yeah, like it's fire. Like the game is dope. That's like Being Godfather of Harlem. And shit. Yeah, yeah, it was like you could tell it was written by black writers and shit like that. Like it didn't feel corny. It felt legit. It was like Bumpy Johnson, I guess. Like Bumpy Johnson. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, or like a Frank or like a American Gangster type shit. Yeah. You ever? You did you watch that show yet? American Gangster the show. Nah, Godfather of Harlem. I think I watched it a while ago, yeah. Oh, uh, that's what I've been watching lately. And that's the one like, that said the music sucks. Yeah, I'm like I'm really torn with this shit because I really like the series. But is I have a lot of critiques. It's like trash. <laughs> it's like it's like good trash, I think, to me. Godfather Harlem. <laughs> good trash. I shit. Yeah, it's like it got a good message, but it's trash. It's a trash ass. Mm, I hate that shit. Yeah. Because you want to support the message, but it's like, it's kind of... Yeah, because it's like Bumpy Johnson, his relationship with Malcolm X, and, um, what's the game, Vin, uh, Vincent, ah, uh, damn, what the fuck is his name? Vinny Chin, Chin, uh, a lot of the shit in the show is fake, but, like, those characters are real, they did have interactions with each other. It's kind of like the, um, the Regina Hall joint, with the Muhammad Ali, Sam Cook. One night Malcolm in Miami? Yeah, the one night in Miami. It's kind of like that. It's like based on true cream. shit, but it's all fake. That's I was talking like to my dad remember. about that shit. Oh, when Kyle got mad about <laughs> Malcolm no, I saying, I got ice cream. I got ice cream. <laughs> so, y'all, y'all convinced to stay in the hotel over ice cream, nigga? Fuck Right. That. Ain't no real nigga. We about to try to get some pussy. I don't and give a, a fuck what time. I got ice cream. Nah, but I guess that shit and really humanity. happened, though. Because I was watching the, the two killings of Sam Cooke, the documentary on Netflix. They really all met in the hotel that night. I don't know if it was. Over ice cream? I mean, no. I'm not gonna say it was ice cream. No, they said they met. Is no one has no one has any like what they talked about or anything. Yeah. There's no video, or anything. So that's why it's and, all speculation, right? And in the um, all the dialogue is speculation, right? But I do see Kyle's point now after watching the two kills of Sam Cooke of why he was upset at that movie. Now, I was like, you oh, do? yeah, they did kind of wait. Tell us, tell us why I was upset because <laughs> they kind of made. I feel like they didn't. They did kind of play like almost. Every not everyone, but more people. Like, I feel like they definitely played Malcolm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely played. They love playing. They playing Malcolm in the damn Godfather Harlem too. They definitely but played yeah. Malcolm, but I feel like they could have went more into. I think they played Sam Cook a little bit too because he wasn't as pandering as they made him seem in the in the play. Like when I was watching the actual documentary, he was one of the first people to be like, "Nah, y'all not about like." Because I guess he went to a show one time. It was like, yeah. uh Black people got to sit on the balcony. The white folks get to sit on the floor and yeah. they can dance. He was like, well, I'm not performing for y'all, so fuck y'all. So he was on that from the get, not Malcolm X putting him on and like, oh, yeah, we got to do right. it. And he was a headliner of that shit. And all the other niggas was like, yeah, we with you, Sam Cook. And then an hour later, they all went to go perform. He was the only one left in the hotel, like, sticking to his word. So I'm like, yeah, he was on that shit way before. So I'm like, after watching, I'm like, yeah, they did kind of play almost everybody. And then in Godfather of Harlem, they have Sam Cooke in it, but they got somebody playing them. Don't look, again, don't look nothing like Sam Cooke. They just show him, but they actually have a reoccurring cast member, like a reoccurring um, character. And he looks like Sam Cooke, but he's not (laughs) Sam Cooke. His name is Terry. And I just was like, what the fuck is this show? This show is a bunch of, uh, it's like Empire. It's like, it's based on some real gangster shit. But we about to put in this little story about 
uh, interracial interracial relationships at the time. I think the first episode of Empire was gay, so I never watched the rest. I never even seen an episode of it. I, it was like the first couple minutes too. I didn't even. All I heard was like. That's all I heard. But I'm like, well, I guess that sounds like the music industry. So, you know. True. It's, you know, it's, okay. just, it's just media trying to uh, give you some history or just feel what black people feel like. Like, did y'all hear about the video game where it's fucking um, putting you in the shoes of a black father and you got to go through a bunch of discrimination and you got to do these choices. What's the what's Wait, those so video it, games called? It's Fences, the video game, basically. Or in Denzel, Washington. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, like, when, you, when you're, like, in it, like, a simulator thing. Yeah, you're playing the character. I forget, but I know what you mean. Those, like, story-driven games. I think they're called narrative. narrative yeah, like Final Fantasy? Like no, it's not Final Nah, Fantasy. it's no. more like... It's a, yeah, it's a movie. Like, you're playing it, you're It's like the things where you wear those headphones like and you're in game. it. Virtual reality. No. There's a famous virtual one. reality. Is it? I'm not. No, I mean, it's not real it's not reality. VR. I no, it's just a video game. game. It's not. It's not like virtual reality video game. But it's put. It's like you have no choice but to live as a black father and deal with racism in this video game. Yeah, <laughs> I forget the genre of it. Um, Let's look it up. I mean, technically, they're called adventure games. That's technically the That's genre. That's an adventure game? Yeah, because other we are thinking of action adventure. So there's adventure and, action and there's adventure. action adventure. Adventure is just where it's straight story driven. And action adventure is obviously where you got guns and swords and all that shit. Plus that the would story. work. That it's, game would work if you could choose to be an asshole too. Well, that's what it is. Most of those games are about choice. So, so I could like, kill all um, the police exactly. and like go out like yeah. um, Nat Turner. Or there was a recent one. I think it was called Midnight Rain or L.A. Noir. I think that's another. That's LA old. Noir was, I think. Yeah, yeah. That dope. that's yeah. most. Or, that's like the most recent I can think of. Um, so it's called Our America video game. Let Rockstar do it. Rockstar can tell a good story. Yeah, but you need yeah. action. If it's Rockstar, Rockstar ain't that's fucking what with we it. Want. We want action. They made that game Manhunt. So it is made. It's made by a black man, I believe. Explain twenty five years. Is old. it already out or? I think he's twenty five years works. old. Bryant Young. Oh, it is a virtual reality. You right? It's a virtual reality game. That's about to be crazy. crazy. All right, that's about to be. You about to get really beat up. You said you leading to life and death choices, getting pulled over by the police. Is it already out though, or is it just in the works? It's probably gonna be another. Two uh, that years. sounds like it's in the works. That can't be out yet. Do you think they're gonna? No, nah, I think he's of... still trying to get money for it. I think. I was about to say, you think they're oh, so really it's not gonna? In production yet. You just got a twenty-five thousand dollar grant. Do you think they're really gonna make it? Twenty-five thousand dollars? That's shit. That's nothing. I think for VR, they might be able. Well, nah. No uh, way. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking, all them graphics, twenty-five thousand dollars. That ain't nothing. I'm thinking for VR, yeah, twenty-five. That's not gonna be enough. All right, I only go to Brian because he's the video game expert of the panel right now. Nah, I think them shits was called like uh, they're like called adventure games. Like it's virtual reality. It's vir- It's a virtual reality. But he's talking about the um. As far as like the content, play, it's so called. Not- it's like play role play role play games. Ah, there we go. Right there we RPG. go. RPG. <laughs> it's role. Yes, yes it is. No. I'm being a black father that's dealing with discrimination. I'm not black. But that could be any video game in fucking Vice City. You're fucking exactly. playing against Tony Montana. No, no. <laughs> That's no what, all right. Let's look up the no. RPG. RPG, What's you the definition? Able to build your character up like with stats and stuff like that. Like Dungeons and Dragons, that's RPG. Dungeons and Dragons. That's how I look at it. Dungeons and Dragons. So you're going to be able role to play game. I played game. Final Fantasy for a little bit too. That's an RPG. That's a role playing game. Yeah, that's an RPG. You saying that's not the same? No, it's not the same as this virtual reality. Assume going on the an roles game. of characters in a fictional that's, setting. That's not a, Adventure game, he's fucking getting pulled over by the police, and you gotta okay. Deal so wait, with no, it. now it makes sense because it says you're playing it in a fictional setting. This is this would be nonfiction, so you're right. Uh, it wouldn't be RPG. I mean, technicality. Yeah, we'll Don't give him that. that. Fuck him. I was I wasn't gonna take that, that little, little word. You weren't gonna take it. Nah, you're welcome. I'm still, always, I've never I mean, been on your side. Nah, I can, I can appreciate <laughs> it. That's why I accepted it. I was like, a sign's on my side today. I'll accept it. <laughs> Live action role playing game. But to go further For RPG You have to have stats in it too Like you gotta be able to Build your character up You gotta be able to Develop him and evolve him oh, okay, so You gotta right. be able to Level that, him up game ex- yeah. That's probably what yeah. They're gonna add You get to you know. But we don't know yet No we this, is, we know this is This is a vi- uh, Educational video game Let's do that Do you is think this Really gonna come to fruition game? That's like Yes it probably Oh will. you never played Math Busters What was that That old game in high, uh, school like math, Look, math Busters. yeah that's the type of game the Oregon, like Trail. Oregon Trail Oregon Trail is another one Math Blaster Minecraft yeah, math Blaster. that shit yeah it's like one of those is it an educational you think it's an educational game 
You just said it was. I ain't read the article. Yo, as, yo but you the video game dude, <laughs> I'm man. just not I, hearing about this. I, I read the article to you. You posted it. All right, uh, you want my opinion from the way it sounds? What type of game is it? My opinion from the way it sounds, it sounds like an adventure game. That's what he said, yeah. Like okay. what you said, Shinmu. I'll give you okay, Shinmu. All right. I'll give you that. Rockstar needs to develop this shit. <laughs> Rockstar. It would be fire if they did do it. Because then they add that element. If he gets more money, because that little chump change ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. Well, video games getting realer and realer and realer, and they looking realer and realer. I don't know how they but I think I want to wear one real. of those headsets where you're like, you Evan think Ward, the Oculus. But yeah. I think virtual reality I games are like getting cheaper now because like a lot of indie developers are making them because like they're really low. The graphics, they're cool, but they're low res, so you can make mm-hmm. them for cheap. So it, he might be able to do it for 25000 with but today's it, technology. Where uh, video games turning into movies? How you feel about those? I don't. I don't like. Them. Like, what's the best? The video best. game that was a what, that like turned Mortal into Kombat? a movie. No, it's usually yeah, the Mortal Kombat. I think, yeah, Mortal Kombat was the best. I can't think of a. You really? Even I played that. I, we didn't like Street Fighter. John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Come on, nigga. It was cool when you was a kid, but you got fire. You got rewatching that shit as an adult and thinking that shit is fire. Oh god, right here. What other? I don't even know other. I movies. can rewatch Mortal uh, Kombat though. Uh, Tomb Raider. I'm still waiting on Splinter Cell. Video game. Oh, Tomb Raider was good. No, nah, Tomb Raider yeah, was I good. Like Tomb Raider. Why did they stop the Splinter Cell? Because he died. Tom Clancy did. Be- he passed away, right? I don't, I don't know. I know Tom, Tom Hardy Clancy? was supposed to Tom play Clancy. Splinter Cell. He's been dead. I think Tom Hardy was supposed to play him, and then I ain't hear nothing about it. So I'm y'all sure. about to go see the Mortal Kombat movie? Yeah, I'm Hell watch. yeah! Or y'all about to watch it in on Fire home. Stick? HBO At Max. At home, yep. I know somebody who rents it out of the theater to watch it. That's amazing. I can't wait for the Scorpion vs. Sub-Zero fight. That shit looks fire. Bro, that shit look like the highlight. Yo, and I didn't even realize... Silent Hill was a game before it was a movie? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. another one. Resident, yeah, oh, exactly. Resident Evil. Resident, Resident Evil, Evil. Resident Evil yeah. was the greatest one. I just yeah. forgot. They yeah. made like 20 of them things, yeah. nigga. <laughs> back, back to Mortal Kombat. I didn't realize Sub-Zero is Japanese... And Scorpio is Chinese, and they talking to each other, and they don't understand each other's language. That's that hilarious. was so that's fire. Hilarious. I was like, "Yo, that's fire!" <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so fire. Because I'm a history. I'm a history. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, I like that part. Yeah, you got uh, Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, Street Hitman, Fighter. Man, I like that movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, I remember a terrible Hitman. game though. About Double Dragon. Did y'all see Double Dragon? Nah. No. Oh yeah, the old one from the nineties. The video game. I mean, the movie. The old one from the nineties. I seen that movie. Yeah, I love that movie. They yeah. have Super Mario. Super Bros. Mario's movie. with yeah. They had the Mario. With, uh, this guy the live action one. That shit was terrible. Yeah. John Leguizamo. <laughs> that's yeah, he was Luigi. That's a was, classic though. That's when I first seen him. They got an Italian and a Puerto Rican. They post up both be Italian. <laughs> yeah, they post up both be Italian. <laughs> Playing that shit. All right, what else we got? We got Hitman. That turned into a movie. Max Payne. Max Payne. Oh, Yo, I didn't Max like that Payne. movie, though. Max what? Payne. I didn't like that movie. That was the best fucking I tried to watch it world. twice. I fell asleep both times, so I guess I didn't like it. They got it. Prince of Persia. But the game is fire, The game was way better. Assassin's oh, yeah, Prince Creed. Prince of Persia, Jake Gyllenhaal, right? <laughs> Warcraft, Assassin's Creed. Warcraft was terrible. Rampage with The Rock, probably. Oh, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, that. y'all watch that movie? No. 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 I look terrible. Pikachu. Look terrible. Detective Pikachu. I didn't watch it, but I guess I'm not a Pokemon fan, but if you are. Well, I used to have so like many the... Pokemon cards. I had a little binder with a little laminate thing with the little pockets in it. So I had like. Was I heard trading in Pokemon and shit? No, I just collected them. I wish I kept them because it would have been some money now. Probably. Yeah. Y'all, y'all played Uncharted? Yeah, that was a good game. They coming out with a movie 2002. I think they're going to have Spider Man do play him. Uh, what's his name? Tom Holland. Because Tomb Raider was a hit, so I believe Yeah, that. Tomb Raider is a hit. Because they making a new Tomb Raider <laughs> again. <laughs> They're making another Tomb Raider. For real? Damn. Give me a yeah. rest. But yeah, I can't wait for Motocon. It's Kombat. like those movies. What's the movies where they do the possession that they keep making more and more and more? Exorcist? 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 Conjuring? No. Paranormal? Conjuring. The Conjuring. The Conjuring. Oh, the Paranormal they got Activity. a new one coming out. Yeah, but those are all based on real possessions. <laughs> this it's one's called like The d- Devil Made Me Do It. Yeah, these are all based on real counts. Did they have a Devil May Cry? No, they didn't have a Devil May Cry. Movie. Video game? I played that nah, game movie. too. Yeah, that was my Cry. game. Yeah, that was a classic. I played Devil that game. That was my shit. Yeah. You could shoot niggas and fucking slice them with and a fucking like sword. And it was like story. Was like, I like, I, like, I, like when it's a story and part, I watch it. Most people skip it, like, but I watch it. Floating and flipping nah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah like, oh, me too. I watch the whole thing, You get invested into it. Yeah, I'd be like, you just skip the story, bro. Did Tekken have a movie? I think Tekken might have had a movie. I didn't see I the Tekken. Know. No, Tekken did have a movie. It, did have one? it was trash. Okay. I mean, I didn't see it. 
Seems Maybe like you should go look at it because it kind of looks alright. I ain't gonna watch that shit. <laughs> nah, it's alright. I ain't got no faith in that. The Street Fighter anime was kind of cool, but the live action was not. All right, on to the next. Yeah, where, what else we got? Anime. <laughs> um, <laughs> police shooting in Ohio, and uh, that Derek the Chauvin teenager? trial as well. Yeah, come on, let's do some research. So all this. <laughs> All this ties in. So what? He got Holy shot shit. the day after the verdict, right? They just had talking about that. No, we no, talking about the same the, day. The teenager that got shot. We, we in our yeah. last episode. This, it was the same day. Yeah, it was terrible. It was like the same day. Like we heard the verdict, yeah, and then the had, next step was like niggas was ready. Yeah, I think he just had his funeral. Uh, what's his name? Dante Wright. Dante Wright. They just had his funeral to. Day? We just talked about three different shootings. In yeah, like come on, we gotta keep seconds. up. That's yeah. how we gotta bad. know what we talking about. <laughs> but they all going back to the Derek Chauvin trial, who was found guilty on all counts. But can I please say, like, I know everyone's like justice. That yeah, was not that was justice. Today. I think it was today. I mean, it was justice, but it was like it, it like, didn't feel right. It wasn't enough to like, you know what I mean? Like, is this because you first? remember the the woman who killed the man and said that she thought it was his apartment. She's up for what is it called? She's what? appealing her case. I've she seen that she shit. won that, so she may she only did? serve or no? Wait, she won. She no, may no. only get ten to twelve years. Yeah, I heard. I heard for she going for an appeal. To get so out. that's why I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, cool. They said guilty, but the sentencing is really what you gotta wait for. Because even, but even though, like, he only got if you add up all the charges, I think it was like what seventy five years total. He'll still see the light of day. Like he's only he's not that old. You know what I mean? Let's do some stats. Who, right? um, the, who Derek? Derek, yeah. Because yeah, he, got, cause he got 40 for one, then 25 for another one, and I think it was maybe... Because he got three counts. I think he's dying in jail. The he's dying. Day. He's a cop. He looked like he was in his 30s. He's dying in jail. Yeah, he's dead. Huh? Unless no. he got parole. Unless no. he on parole. But, if he, but he if once he, they do his sentencing, he's not... You know he's not <coughs> serving all those years. He's oh, right. He's right. They didn't do exactly yeah, sentencing yet. Not, so we don't know how many years he's doing That's what I'm saying. So he's probably going to see the We don't know what he's really doing yet. So that's why I'm like, yeah, okay, he got guilty. It's cool, but... We don't know what he's doing Don't be going crazy. Like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the judge. It depends on the judge what they're going to give him then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, then you hear how he said thank you, like, because he knew they could have did him way dirtier than that. So this is the amount of police he officers said, thank that you, were like, thank you after that. convicted of murder. Just these. Probably one in a thousand, maybe. Yeah, all these. Yo, but I know I saw some funny shit. It was like, you know, the lady who said she confused her gun for a stun gun? They had oh, the they had the one. meme and said, yeah. who's next? Go, go, go. And then they had the picture of her because, you know, she's up for trial next. Oh. But you remember that whole that thing? The, Dante Wright for Dante Wright. Yeah. Was there, yeah, let's play respects on the dead. She said, um, I seen I didn't see a video, but I seen a cop make a video about how dumb that excuse was. He was like, Listen, yeah, I seen that too. He had to take the safety off all that. Like you right. knew, yeah. And it's literally two different two positions. Two different weights, too. And two different weights. They're supposed to be in two different holsters. One is yeah. up, one is down. <laughs> so it's like, how'd you confuse and it? And it's bright yellow, girl. Hello. Right. It's like, um, so you don't confuse it. So yeah. these cops be trigger happy, man. That's like the um, the army officer who was harassed down there in Virginia. The dude was like, you're getting arrested, man. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. He was like, what did I do? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I didn't, did, I didn't do nothing. You didn't, Get the fuck out. And other cop was looking at him like, he bugging. Like, bro, you bugging right now. Like, chill out. This nigga didn't That's do what, But they always say that. I mistake this for that. I mistake. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my stun gun. <laughs> I thought that was I thought a, it was my I apartment. Thought the, right? I thought he was reaching for a gun. I right. thought this. I thought that. Yeah. That's all the defense they need, really. Not his cigarette was a deuce deuce. Right. Police got more excuses than a nigga that forgot his homework. Not more excuses than a nigga that just got caught cheating. Yeah, there you go. I was trying to think of one. I was trying to think of one. Maybe I don't love her. I don't know her. I, I thought it was you, babe. Right, I thought it was you. <laughs> the lights was off, babe. Right. I was yelling her I name, I swear. it was you. Y'all had the same car. I was drunk. <laughs> exactly, like... Look that, that bitch is white and fat. How the fuck you thought it was me? I happened to a friend of mine one time. That shit was hilarious. Now tell us that story. It was like he got so drunk one time he made out with some chick that wasn't his girlfriend at all in front of his girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, but he, was, he was really fucked up though. He was like, he he blacked out. He was like, yeah, What'd she do? She was like, well, no, he was really fucked up. They were white. Because he called her. He was saying her they name were, and everything. They, they were white. They were white, them. yes. They were white. Yeah, because I would have <laughs> definitely chopped some dick off that day. Chopped some dick off? <laughs> was her friends there? How about uh, that? Was her friends there? Was it her friend or just a strange girl? 
Oh, uh, no, she didn't know her. It was like... But was her peoples there to see this shit? No, not her friends. Okay, no, 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 no. all right. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, she's going to let that shit go. But if it was her peoples there and they all saw it, it yeah. Derek, how dare you? Never. Just, oh, Derek? <laughs> that girl doesn't even look like me. <laughs> Do white girls still talk like that, Brian? Um, yeah, some. <laughs> oh, just give it to me, Ryan. Yeah. Nah, I, 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 <laughs> no, that's how they Just give it to me, Brian. You give me the they love using the word cock. cock. Give me the cock. <laughs> nah, the ones I fuck with, they usually use dick. They don't use cock. No, nope. you'll be saying cock. Uh, I think cock yeah, is like Sarah. That's like take a, this cock. Nah, cock I, I don't be saying cock. Sexting that's shit. Weird. You say when you sexting. I think cock like, has such a like. It's a, yeah, it's nasty. Cock, cock, cock is a. I feel like that ruins the mood. It's a porno cock. name. It's so aggressive. That's what it is. Cock, cock was not in the Bible. Might spit on me. I believe Dick was in the yeah, Bible. Like, <laughs> you got <laughs> before you say it, like what the. Fuck? What what accent is like that? They do that. Oh, uh, Middle Eastern. You talking about? Huh? You talking, talking about that shit? the Jews? I think maybe Ahmed. like some, Ahmed. Yeah, some Middle the, Eastern. Yeah. Some of the Jews. Nah, maybe I think I was thinking Russian because that's also ugly. Hanukkah. Nigga. Chechnya. No, no. Look at this. Hell no. No. <laughs> no. That's what they make fun of. Them. No, German. That's the ugly one. Germans? No, Germans, Germans is. So ugly. Let's they don't go. Um, they don't do. They, they don't do. But the, it's nasty. It's like. That shit is ugly. <laughs> if you don't take your ass. I just hit my stuff. funny bone and I felt that in my dirt, 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 dirt. What's that? the funny accent? Who's that? I don't know. Dirt, dirt. A dirt. Going to dirt, but I hate dirt. dirt. I that hate sounds dirt. really offensive, <laughs> but go ahead and say it. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like a farmer. No, man, that was uh, Indian. What? That was Damn. Indian? A dirk, a dirk, dirk. <laughs> that is terrible. I see. <laughs> I seen that John Deere. I seen John Deere in overalls. I'm like, not touching that. That's a one. bad one <laughs> with the straw shit in his mouth. A dirt, dirt. Are oh, you talking about the southern yeah, shit? Yeah, that a southern farm. Oh, the hillbilly. Over. Come on, hillbilly buddy. Accent. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Yo, stop, buddy, buddy. stop, stop. A, a dirt, dirt, a buddy. Now, come on, bro. That's, I'm bugging. All right, never mind. Demonetize. Come on, buddy. I'm bugging. Yeah. Nah, they do yeah. say, come on, buddy. Demonetize right there. Yeah, I ever see What's the, the, the dude that went into the uh, did you convenience see? store and he just started singing some like Arabian shit, pissing him off. Mm-mm. Pissing nah. off the store owner? Yeah, the he, he, gas station clerk, whatever the fuck he was. Nah, what happened? Yo, he was just he was just singing that shit. That nigga was tired of him, bro. It was just funny as hell. I gotta find that video. Why are you, you coming in here singing the songs of your people and showing here that shit? Yeah, he's probably tight. Did you see the um dude he came in ding, 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 from ding, ding, um, ding, ding, the ding, Simpsons? Ding, ding. The Indian from the Simpsons, Apu. Apu. Yeah, the dude that plays his voice, he apologized for all the years. <laughs> Why, it's a white guy? So, yes. That shit was racist as fuck? Yes. Yeah, like, sorry, I was getting a check. I was getting Look to the bag. Like, sorry. Let's see who did the voice. Hank. Hank Azaria. Where is he from? Oh, so white dude? Is Hank Azaria. He's, he does, you've seen him before. Is he's he been, white or Indian? Yes, he's, uh, he's not Indian. He's definitely a he's Jew. He's from New York he's City. He's definitely a... <laughs> <laughs> So he's over here. <laughs> dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt, dirt. He don't even do that. He said, <laughs> and he's over here. Dirt, dirt. Oh, so that's how you know it was racist. And he said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you just read that? It says he was, his family are Jews from Greece. Huh? Jews from. That's possible. In Greece. Yeah, there's Jews possible. everywhere. Mm. <laughs> they're not, not only in they're Israel. Not, they're not only Germany. Yeah. They made Israel and shit. <laughs> they made yeah, shit. these all these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'm not gonna. Like yo, we need this place Israel. We're gonna call it Israel now. It's not Palestine anymore. Because <laughs> the Bible said. <laughs> Fuck y'all, Palestinians. Black Rob, rest in peace. He just died. Recently, it was crazy because last week we was talking about how he was homeless and everything too, and wasn't doing too well, and then he died this week. So. Not drug related. R.I.P. All right, rest in peace. Heard it was uh, Mark Curry was the uh, only uh, last known um, bad boy affiliate uh, around Black Rob at the time. Like I said last time, Mark Curry wrote a uh, a book about how Puff Daddy's the devil, and we already went through. Uh, the history of Bad Boy and the artist. Um, this is sad, you know. I fuck with Black Rob. One of my favorite songs is "I Love You, Baby." Black Rob, 
Um, Life Story, that's a classic album. You know, rest in peace. R.I.P. R.I.P. Man, like whoa. whoa. <laughs> in case y'all didn't know. Word. And then other news, we got Demi Lovato saying she had a California. She was California sober on four twenty. What does that mean? I don't know. What is that? California sober is you. Uh, only drugs you do is weed and alcohol. Oh. Um. So. So no coke. So that's California sober. So she was not sober. She's not allowed to snort coke. No. She, she was California, like a California roll. California. <laughs> <laughs> Where, this but is this, like America's favorite white crackhead. Yeah, I believe this she, bitch is a former dope head, <laughs> and she's advocating that this is um, didn't normal, she just normal behavior being California sober? Being she know. was just trying to piggyback off DMX. Like that's the irony. It was like, yo, you was just saying last what was it last it week, couple been weeks me. ago, right? And now you saying, oh yeah, well you know I'm smoking and drinking again after you try to take DMX's shine. Right. So isn't that the problem with addicts? Is like once you start, no matter what it is, you can't stop. That's the problem. It could correct? trigger it. Yeah. Right. The thing with addicts so, is we don't know when they. Um, so this is the thing, right? The terrible cliche, um, parent and their child is a, a dope head, right? They come and they keep. Uh, paying to put them in a uh, rehab, keep giving them money so they can survive by themselves, be adults and all this stuff. Give them money so they can survive by themselves. Yes. Which it sounds bad. I mean, it's, that's exactly what it is. And But don't know well, when they need help or like, do they want attention. A lot of these kids were like, are these, like, you know, they were famous when they were kids, so their parents still control a lot of their estate. Well, mm, see, that's their problem. That's yeah, problem that's Britney there. Spears. I mean, she's still getting control. Well, that was the same thing with um, what's her name? There's another one. I forget. Um, Britney Spears or someone else, but I don't remember who else. She's born 1992. Demi Lovato. She's young as hell. That's like same a thing. Me. She's like 29. 28. 28. Yeah. Yeah, she's 28. <clears throat> Uh, like she's a, a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, so I don't feel that bad for her. Oh, she was? I mean, I didn't, I didn't before that. that. <laughs> that oh, before. no. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up. <laughs> That's her mother. Her mother was a former I was gonna uh, say, I didn't see that Dallas Cowboys her cheerleader. Her dad was a musician. An engineer and musician. What's that, a producer, basically? Engineer, engineer. does vocals. Oh. No, I mean, he had a day job an and a hobby. Huh? I mean, he had a day job and a hobby. No, nah, he was an engineer and a musician. Musician was the hobby. Yeah, no, it's all together, bro. Engineer. Yeah. Oh, he was an engineer. Engineer in the studio, guys. Not. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah, that's what I, yeah, I knew that. That's why. Yeah, the way you said that. it, it didn't <laughs> sound like a music engineer. Said the day you said an engineer now and a musician. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> okay. Engineer and musician Patrick Martin Lovato. No. So Producer is beats. Engineer is vocals. So she's Mex. So she's Mexican, Jewish, and Portuguese, and I know Spanish and Native American. She's all mixed up. Damn, yeah, that girl white. <laughs> said, that girl white. <laughs> she got she got a couple drops of brown. Yeah, we did this. We did this <laughs> earlier about like with back with slavery. Like, uh, if your mother was black, your father was white, he was a slave. If your mother was uh, if your mother was white, your dad was black, you was free. And if your mother was a mixed woman that was free, you automatically free. So I get what Cassandra's trying to say. She's white. <laughs> if she was born in slavery times, it was like she, she's a free woman automatically. We don't we don't need, need to go to trial, figure this out. No, this shit been going on for so long, and they don't gave Asians rights or made laws no. for Asians before yeah, anybody else. We just had a whole Black Lives Matter, and nothing happened. Asians said stop Asian hate for like three weeks, and all got of a sudden, bill passed. <laughs> <laughs> they got a whole what law the passed. heck was that? That was just. That's what power and influence does. That goes back That's to what it does. Native Americans getting reparations and the Jews getting reparations, but blacks can't get reparations. That's what power and influence I mean, did does. Jews not get reparations? They got the most money in the world. No, they got no I said they too. did. Oh, they yeah, both yeah. they both got <laughs> reparations. Everyone got oh, yeah, reparations. Except yeah. for black, 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 black people. Everyone got We just keep talking people. about it, and we just started talking about it like a couple years ago. Like, mm-hmm. just talking about it. We keep inching closer and closer. They're going to be like, what about your stimmy checks? Yeah, what about y'all PP loans? <laughs> y'all good? 
Did you y'all get that PUA? I still yeah, Nigga, funny. everybody got that PUA. I seen someone. Did um, you get that ounce of runs? I seen some girl started a GoFundMe. <laughs> some girl started a GoFundMe page because she got caught doing her uh, PP loan. Uh, oh, fraud. I didn't see that. Did you see that, see that shit? She wanted like 20 bands. Oh, she trying God. to get 20 bands? Yeah, to pay back her loan. The PP Wow. <laughs> Crazy. I heard I thought you. I thought you I didn't have to pay said, that. I swore it said like feds on my ass. What is that shit exactly? <laughs> like the PP? It's. I think it's for businesses. This is it's loans. Oh, that, that was the COVID shit when you've had a small business like the fraud shit. Niggas yeah, getting but caught now. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, well, yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. But it's supposed to be like a thirty year, like thirty year loan. Like you ain't gotta pay it for thirty years, some shit like that. Like you probably just realized she wasn't spending. I was gonna say, but on less, anything. But, but it was also you know a fucking. It was also like an epidemic. It was a big fucking deal where across the fucking country, the most fraud that was happening is in Massachusetts. Yeah. Niggas weren't was checking paperwork. Rhode Island. Yeah. Twenty twenty was a year of fraud. Man. Niggas were not checking paperwork. At they said all. it was reparations. That was the year. 20, was it twenty one? <laughs> reparations. It was revelations. It was definitely. Cause some people, man, as many times as they it. play people, let me play them real quick. Shit, give yeah. me some money too. They said it was if like, you know how to do it? Hit me up. It was like God came down. <laughs> it was like, oh, all y'all niggas can live. Niggas free. threw bands at like. Take that. Yo, niggas was wildin'. <laughs> niggas was wildin' Hell last year. Yeah. Everybody named Mama had a fucking rental. It was hard for me to tell my niggas because everybody had a I was getting hit up. Like everybody was traveling. <laughs> I know everybody who was, was in a different it? state. Like, did y'all everybody get hit up? Did y'all get hit up? Like, yo, I can get you ten bands. I yeah. just need like Yeah, know. all the time. <laughs> nah, nah. All the time. I was getting hit up. All the time. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I know how to do it nah. myself. I'm about to pay you. Right, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, if you like you about to get like eight bands, but give me two. Right. What? It's like that old shit. Let me let me let me flip the tax return, yo. But that goes to show you <laughs> that's, uh, that's how lazy people are. You don't even know how easy this should be to do by yourself. You're just giving out money because niggas think eight bands is a lot of money. So like a giveaway two, what's six? Six is still a lot. Yeah, niggas was no, killing. No, the for fuck them. is the six bands is nothing. Yeah, niggas was killing for them stimulus checks. That won't so. even pay my rent for the year. <laughs> it was that dude? Uh, was it Indiana? That dude that killed that family. For the stimulus Oh, job. for the stimulus oh, yeah, that yeah. we yeah, talked about. For that yeah. Yeah. Kids that weren't even his. Right. That shit was Mm-mm-mm. crazy, man. People do crazy things for drugs and money and sex. Yeah. He was already like a wild dude, though, I guess. He <laughs> fucked up. I don't care how wild you are. You kill somebody for... Money? Thousand dollars, bro. You fucking... But I guess he got punked, too. I guess the more the story is like... The girl's little brother went up to him and was like, yo, you said, she said you ain't getting a stimmy, so, so get the fuck out. Oh. So, like, then, you know, he got punked. That's that all. ain't gonna make me kill nobody. Yo, that's it. so crazy. Why if you, is, a, why if you is, a loony ass jailbird ass nigga, it might, because yeah. you a loony nigga fresh out of jail, it she might. She said you ain't getting yeah, shit. You know, at, even, <laughs> even that, these niggas is from jail, so they gonna fight. That's so That's weird. my point, yeah. So but, he, well, Why are they he having a conversation about fucking mom. stimulus and PP loans? Anyway, like... Why are you having a conversation with anybody, like, as far as, like, group, like, public? Yo, that's crazy, because nowadays we about money? people get money, and, like, you show your literal bank transactions Stop on Facebook. Stop doing that. Why the fuck are Nobody y'all doing that? Know how much I money saw you this got. girl in her story. She literally posted a screenshot of her bank account and her paycheck. Like, that's stupid as What fuck. are you doing? What like, are you doing? What, are you doing what, what is for? the purpose of that? And when, really, they be thinking it's a lot of money, and I'd be like... Yeah, that's what it is. That ain't even, like... It's for the life. you got paid $800 from your job, like... Well, she was happy, though. It's for the life. She said it would have been... It would have been a ban, but I put yeah, and some money in savings. Girl, how old is she? Though, come on, man, don't, don't, don't kill her. She's young. Or the like, yeah, it, it, old people do it too. The fuck? What old people? There's people. older people that are grown as hell still doing that. Got my stimmy. They got my drugs, like. Though. They, they old, know. but they stuck. They in that do mentality. drugs. I was gonna say, are they established old people? Not oh, like okay, not like old old, but you know, I can't like, say that because it's established old like people high that act 30s, like fucking going to 40s, still posting stuff like that's that. That's why I said yeah, mentality. Yeah, yeah, it's a mentality. Like, but you gotta think, Facebook is like the internet. This shit is a drug too. People get addicted to I was told posting never and shared that's nothing what I mean by doing posting, it for likes. It's posting a drug. and then okay, reaction. No, every five Your minutes I'm gonna check. Go off when you get a every like. five minutes I'm gonna check to see if I got new likes or a comment. Right. And this is on one, two, three, four, like five different apps. I'm doing this it's all the, And it's the same exact post. So I want to yeah, see what they said here. I want to see what they said there. Yep. And it's all the same friends. Yeah. Like, 
That's what that whole documentary was about. What is the social dilemma or something on Netflix? Yeah, yeah. How they design all these apps to make you addicted. Like they design them specifically for that. Like that little yeah, button that says dumber. check new posts. Mm -hmm. new that's for you to be dumber. addicted. All right, guys, that's been this episode. I'm BT Davis. Check me out on Instagram. I'll be posting some updates soon. Also, I do want to remind you guys that um, there's an anime coming out called Yasuke on April 3rd of Netflix. The Black Sand Rocks. Check that shit out. <laughs> I'm Cassandra. Check me out on Mondays on the Pussy Talk Podcast. This is Prof. You check me out on this podcast. Let's go there. Um, all my music, LSD culture, YouTube, Spotify, everything. This podcast also on Spotify. So support, subscribe, comment, like, share, everything. East Zoo and Pussy Kills. Fuck with me. The Let's Go There podcast, bitches. <laughs>